Hello guys! In this tutorial I will show you my best tips and advices about the configuration viewport. Uh, the things I um, wish I knew when I was started learning doing renderings. This would have, have saved me a lot of time. So let's go! First, the first advice is when a scene opens super slowly, it takes a lot of time, how to fix this. This works uh, really well with small, but it's you can feel it more if the scene is near one gigabyte or so, but you can feel it also in the medium size of a scene. I'll test with this one, which is nearly 350 megabytes. So I'll start opening and just press the counter. It took around, let's say, 40 seconds to open, which of course depends on the scene, depends on your computer, on your machine. But for this scene, which is uh, really optimized, it's a lot. And why is it that? If you go to uh, viewport configuration, which you can find here under the plus, configure viewports, and in the first tab, display performances, here you can see the texture maps, which is at 800 pixels. This is huge. The default settings of max are 512. Uh, what is this texture maps standing for? I'll close it and just zoom a bit to this grass and open this menu again by pressing Alt and B. This is the shortcut. I'll go here and if I bring this back to the default settings and press apply, please pay attention to the grass here. You can see how pixelized it became, but this reduced the, the size of all textures in the projects and respectively the time for the opening of the scene. I'll press OK. I will, I will recommend you highly to, to bring these amounts also to, to uh, 512. These are the procedural maps. Here, are this, these are the maximum pixels that the um, textures are going to be shown. Meaning that if you have a lower texture, let's say uh, 260 pixels, it will be displayed at the original pixels, at their pictures, but everything that is above this amount will be um, reduced to this size. And the program remembers the amounts from the last closed scene. So if I uh, apply this, save the scene and close it, it's really important when you go to the task manager here to close the background. I'll close it and show you. Uh, yes, here to close this background process. This one. You need to wait for this to be closed and then you can open another scene. I'll just open an empty file to be fast and to show you the program will take the amounts for the textures for the from the last closed scene like this okay further i would suggest these pixels uh, for the viewport background this stands when you before the following, if you press um, 8, environment and effects, and here instead of the very sky, you would like to have an image. Yes, I'll drag and drop it. And if you go again to configure viewport configuration, use environment background like this, and go to a camera, let's say this one, and I will isolate this object. Our image, this one at the background, now is at maximum at this resolution. If I play with it and make it 5K and press apply, here you can see below, it takes time, how clear and you can see the more pixels, the better resolution of it. I'll bring it back to this amount. 
and of course if you increase a lot these pixels your um, viewport is going to slow down um, I would suggest you to increase it only when you adjust the background and when you're done with it to bring it back to defaults this is also relevant for the textures that you're working on when you're setting the map of uh, the landscape, grass, whatever, or the building you can increase here the amounts of the texture but when it's set just bring it back to the to these, to these settings correspondingly to my previous point optimizing the viewport I would suggest you to untick this is the default uh, value but I would suggest you to take it off this, this improvement and press OK because this will enhance the program performance for large scenes with a lot of polygons and how to check whether your scene has a lot of polygons or not here in hand comes the statistic when you press 7 on the keyboard here you have the polygon counts if we go again to the viewport configuration here the statistic this is one of my favorite parts when you press total and selection this will show you the total amount of the scene but if you select a, an object here are, are the polygons of the objects if you select two objects at the same time here is the amount of them in combined in total combined so this option here w works really well when you would like to optimize and see where exactly which where, where exactly is my object with the most polygons and to work towards this to optimize the count of it the next setting that helps a lot I'll show you in one of my cameras out in B I'll go to the safe frame this tab now is when I switch on the stick 12 field grid and press apply this shows makes grid in my camera to be active you need to press shift and F to turn off the safe frame and these lines are helping me to come to make the my composition better and to organize my point of interest here where the human eye nat naturally comes when it sees a composition for a first time and my last advice would be according to the layouts uh, split in two windows is my favorite configuration because in this way I can work simultaneously on the camera and here typically in top view or back front orthographic whatever I need but in the same way in the same time I can see what happens here in my camera and from the other from the other views all of these settings uh, that I gave you ideas and suggestions they work really fine with me and make me do great results please please let me know in the comments whether you like it what your opinion about it is and if you have better suggestions thank you if you enjoyed anything in the video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does if you haven't subscribed yet click below and join us we have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.